welcome back to another video guys this is gonna be an exciting little uh, group of videos here hopefully uh, but right now I'm just in the tree stand in Ohio for my first time ever so super excited about that first time hunting whitetails outside of Pennsylvania um, I know I'm out here with my uh, with my buddies Blake Alex and uh, Rod Hunter they at least a few properties out here let me come out with them this year Blake shot a buck yesterday morning. I was hoping to be here to film it, but unfortunately, hit some bad weather. Lost a little bit of control of my truck, and uh, that, that held me up overnight while that was getting fixed. But fortunately, Cole was watching out for me there, and uh, I'm okay. Truck's fixed. I was able to get back out here. So, deer have been moving. Lots of big bucks. Hopefully, I'll be able to let some carbon fly. Nothing else has come through here since that other buck did. It's about it's about 8.30. Just got a picture from Alex though. Big buck down. I'm gonna hang out in the stand here for for a while yet yeah, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to get one too, but once I get down we'll go check out that that beast. our first little bit of action here for the past few hours a little spike buck came in walked right underneath me and uh, got on his way no idea I was even here but it's about 10 o'clock so it's getting pretty cold the camera's probably shaking on I'm, I'm sure I'm pretty good so I don't know how much longer I'm gonna hang out here before I go back and warm up but because I do see Alex's buck. I've seen buck. I've seen a few pictures of it. It's a really nice buck. I don't know. Maybe hang out here another half hour, hour, unless action really picks up.
just finished recording that last interview. I looked down about 80 yards below me, and I caught a glimpse of a deer going across. It was a, a doe. She went through some real, right on the edge of this pond here. And she's down there at about 120 yards right now. I think she's, there's some green stuff growing on the edge of the pond here. It looks like she's eating or maybe trying to get a drink. That's two deer in the last 10 minutes. I haven't seen anything in the last two hours. So now, so they must be starting to move. I cannot believe that just happened. Just got set up for the evening here. I'm in the same stand. It's a little after two o'clock. And I literally just got all my stuff up in the tree. I was turning around and a buck slipped right in on me while I was getting set up. A shooter buck. And he's, I, I called to him. I didn't, have my, I didn't even have my arrow just knocked yet or anything. Knocked an arrow, started calling. I don't know where he went. I think he's still in this thicket I'm set up in, but I don't know. So hopefully he'll come out later. Frustrating. It's almost five o'clock. I just saw the biggest buck I've ever seen hunting in my life. He was about 150 yards away, walking along the edge of this pond. I only saw him for a little bit, enough to get the look, look at him with the binoculars. Then I looked away to get my grunt to look back, and he just disappeared. I have no idea where he went. There's not really that many places for him to go. He just disappeared. Huge buck. That's going to do it for me for day one out here in Ohio. Pretty good day, so five or six buck. Uh, definitely had the heart pumping a few times, got excited, had a couple of close calls, but couldn't quite get together. Alex and Blake both got their buck out here already this week. Got a few days left, so hopefully me and Ron will be able to, to put something on the ground. I'm going to try to do a video for every day that I'm out here. So this will be the first video, and then hopefully I'll be able to get two or three more out of this trip. So be sure to follow along with this. If you're not already, click that subscribe button. Uh, we have more stuff coming. Rifle season's coming up here in PA soon. We're excited for that. We got some, some pretty good stuff planned. And uh, also to go along with that, if you haven't seen already, we have Blaze Orange hats available for sale. I'll put a little, little pop out to them up here in the corner and also a link to the to the store in the description where you can go get those hats at so thanks for watching this video be back again tomorrow morning and hopefully the action will be good